Welcome to the studio, welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm going to be painting real time, uh, working on this piece here a little bit. And I just want to have a conversation with you today about uh, preparing for an art show. Um, I have my first art show in a few years and it's one of only a few that I've participated in. For anyone who hasn't done an art show before, there's a lot that goes into it beyond the basics. So I'm just going to talk through. I'm just going to talk through all the stuff that I had to do to get ready for the show and I think uh, I think you'll find it useful. Also, shout out to my man Soggy for the t-shirt. Um, I've got a bunch of his shirts. He does great work. They're, they're just awesome. Everywhere I go, people say, I love your shirt. There's a link to his store in the description, uh, so check him out and uh, show him some love. You know, like, subscribe, comment, share, blah, blah, blah. Not sponsored. Let's go. All right, y'all. Let's get started. We have a lot to talk about, and I want to make this as educational, helpful, and useful as I can, not waste anyone's time. Uh, so let's jump right in and start talking about the basics. The biggest thing for me right off the bat was uh, picking the pieces. After you do this for a while, you probably have a ton of stuff ready to go in your inventory, and it's easy to, to kind of put a show together. In my case, I did have plenty of work, but the main thing was it felt like it was kind of all over the place, right? It was just stylistically, everything was just very different. And, and that's kind of reflective of the way I'm working these days. Now I had a lot of pieces that kind of felt like they belonged to you know a specific style, but I purposely chose to mix it up and just share a bunch of different stuff because at this point, I'm kind of looking for feedback. I wanna see what people are interested in and frankly, I'm interested in all of it because I made it, you know what I mean? So I'm happy with the work. And so I just tried to pick things that I was proud of that I thought others would like. And, you know, I did try to find some themes and, and try to make sure that it was cohesive to some degree. I did get the feeling that my pieces were kind of all over the place and, and that's fine. But I'm just saying, if you're gonna do a show for the first time, that's definitely something you, you're gonna have to think through. What are you gonna include? What do you have on hand? The other thing is, you have to send all your stuff in to get approved. Um, now this isn't a gallery that I'm showing in, it's it's a restaurant slash tavern, but you still have to sh send everything in, have pictures of it all to make sure that, you know, they, they accept it and are good with it. The other thing is you have to have backup pieces in this case because this stuff's gonna be up for a while. It's gonna be up for over three months. And if I happen to sell something, part of the contract is is that you have to have pieces to back up and fill in uh, when something when something sells, hopefully something will sell. You know, I'm not not too uh, worried about it if it doesn't. But you definitely have to have things on hand in case in case that happens, and and hopefully when that happens. So painting might not be too exciting for you all today. I'm basically just going to be continuing on these little gold emblems that I'm putting in. Look at that. That's uh, just awesome. I'll show you how we can get rid of that real quick. No big deal. So the next thing that I think I want to touch on was pricing. And again, this is probably something that comes easier with experience. And since I'm fairly inexperienced in this area, it was a little more difficult. Um, but the things that I considered were obviously materials, like what, you know, what cost did I have in the pieces, canvases, wood panels, paint, but more importantly, uh, or more uh, significantly, I guess, would be frames. So. In some cases, my frames were uh, either purchased fairly cheaply by me or there was the items that weren't framed at all. They just had wire on the back and you could just hang them like a, like a panel. And in other cases, the frames were professionally done by my local frame shop and were fairly expensive. This is mostly me talking and not painting very much at this point. I find that it's hard for me to paint and talk at the same time, but at any rate, we'll keep going. You have to figure out like how much, you know, how much money do you have into the piece? How much does the gallery or venue intend to charge you for a commission. And then you gotta make some money, right? So it's like doing the math on all that to figure out uh, what makes sense. Another thing to consider is the venue itself. So in this case, you know, this is one of my first shows in a long time. Uh, people don't know who I am. This is not a typical gallery setting. So I, I wanted the pieces to be affordable. And, you know, I still wanted to obviously make some money uh, and I don't wanna, you know, just like rip myself off, but at the same time, I wanna make it, you know, find a balance so that's all stuff that needs to be considered um, and was considered prepping for the show just beyond painting the paintings or making the artwork in the case of paintings you know they obviously have to be framed or at least have a way to hang them right so 
you got to make sure all that's done. If you're going to varnish your pieces, uh, you got to make sure that, that that's all done. I typically stamp my my paintings on the back with a little stamp that I have with my information. You, you have to have that on hand, or you have to have a way to sign it, or stick a business card on it, or something. Um, or you, you don't have to, but it's nice nice to have. I forgot to mention, I also make certificates of authenticity for every single piece of artwork I make too. And I include inserts and stickers and things like that. Uh, thank you cards and other stuff. You know, just framing in general, you, you gotta allow time for that. So if you're gonna get stuff framed by a frame shop, you gotta get it into the framer uh, to make sure they have time to get it back to you. You know, beyond that, you gotta create, in this case, I had to create collateral, right? So there's these little cards that I put up that were actually requested by the venue that have all the information about the piece. So it's, you know, each piece has to have an index number. It has to have your information, your name, the title of the piece. Uh, that's another thing. If you, if you're going to title your pieces, you have to think about all that. You know, I used to just have my title, my pieces be untitled, but it's part of the creative exercise. It's, it's part of the creativity to kind of come up with an interesting name for, for the piece. And so I kind of find, find that fun, but you know, that takes thinking and time as well. You have to write up a bio, a statement. You have to print all this out. You have to include all your contact information, social accounts and things. If you have a website, you know, you might have to prepare your website like I do. And my website is not the greatest right now. So I, I actually need to try to do some work on that before the opening, which is good because it gives me a chance to, you know, to, uh, to get some of that stuff buttoned up. On the cards, you also have to put like the medium, the size of the piece. So I laminated all my cards because we'll get into hanging and everything later, but I have this little putty uh, stuff that I use to stick the cards to, to the wall. And I find that it works really, you know, a lot better and looks a lot better with the cards being laminated. So you can buy self laminating sheets, which I think are kind of a pain to use. So I ended up buying a pretty cheap um, laminator, like a heat, a heat laminator, I guess is what they're called that, that works really well and actually was fairly affordable. Uh, and I would highly recommend uh, if you're going to do something like this. What else? Um, I put my logo on the cards as well. And again, it's it's not the most amazing logo in the world, but it's functional and I'm happy with it. And if you have one, great. Which I guess leads to designing the cards. I mean, you could just write them. I guess you could do them in any kind of any number of software. Um, but you got to think about that. Keep doing that. Look at that. Good Lord, how am I doing that? Well, it gives me time to think. I also printed the cards, my own cards at home. In that case, you know, you're gonna need to trim them. Paint on, paint off. Yeah, you can't sweat this kind of stuff. I mean, it happens. I, I'm usually not this messy, but I'm talking and it's you guys' fault. <laughs> I'm talking and trying to paint at the same time and I'm making a huge mess. I'll try to, I'll have to touch it up later. Anyways, next hanging the artwork right you gotta you gotta think through all the materials um i guess in a gallery setting in a typical gallery setting maybe they hang it for you but in this case uh i you know i had to hang it myself and you got to make sure that you have all the necessary equipment you know they have a system in this place where it's like a chain a hook and chain system so the chains are already installed so it's pretty easy all you have to do is have hooks um, and make sure that all your your artwork has you know a way to connect to a hook on the back and um, and that was fairly simple. The putty, I think, is you know again something that's like a little bit of an afterthought, but you gotta have a way to stick the cards, the index cards, um, to the wall and your bio, uh, etc. Oh yeah, so you, you gotta figure out like how you want to hang stuff, right? Like I mean, what placement? How do you want to organize it? Uh, what's the size of your space and how will it, all, will it all fit together? And then you gotta actually go do it, right? Or at least in my case, I had to go do it. So it's fun, it's super fun, it's really cool, but it's also like, you know, it can be stressful because you're like worried about presentation and making sure things look good and, and, and are placed in a way that um, is pleasing, etc. You know, this place had a ladder on hand, thankfully, um, which I did not think about before I went. So that's definitely something you might want to consider too, is, you know, having yourself at least having a, a small step ladder or something on hand. I guess the last thing is in preparation for the opening, you know, in this case, I'm able to bring some extra pieces uh, to sell. 
which is awesome. You know, that's something that has to be thought through. And in fact, this is one of the pieces I'm working on and there's a lot to do uh, for me to be finished with this, but I'm gonna try to get it done in the next couple weeks so that it'll be, you know, ready to have it on hand. And then there's all the promotion, right? So you gotta think through how you're gonna promote uh, the show. Again, the venue did some of that for us. They created little postcards and flyers and posters, which was awesome and gave some of those to us to hand out. But then, you know, you got your social media stuff. So you got to plan for at least um, what you want to say. And, you know, I'm not very good at that kind of stuff, but um, it is something that, you know, you have to think about. Uh, so yeah, if you have other questions, I would say, and you watch this far, uh, thank you. But if you, know, you have other questions or thoughts, um, Put them in the comments. I'm more than happy to give you my two cents on how things are going, how things went, uh, any, and try to answer any questions as best I can. So um, thanks for joining me. I hope this wasn't too boring and maybe helpful for someone. Um, have a good one.